All right, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Anatoly, and the, um, just fun fact, I just double checked the this, the list of all the talks in this conference, and it looks like this one is is the only one that has server side in the title. So, <laughs> just a precious precious five minutes for server side. Um, <laughs> So this is about server-side Darwin on Node.js, or how, how people in, Por in Portland like to say it, uh, putting a bird in it. <laughs> um, so first of all, why Node.js? Uh, why not Dart VM? And um, as much as I like Dart VM, um, the only place I can be sure it's always installed on, it's on my laptop. It's not really anywhere yet. And, um, on the contrary, with Node.js, you can actually see it in, in very much everywhere. For instance, in Firebase. Um, there is a good chance that some of you are gonna build a Flutter or web app that uses Firebase. And um, in Firebase, they have this um, service called Firebase Functions. Have you, um, have any, any one of you used it? All right, quite a few. So this is basically a way to run your JavaScript in the cloud. JavaScript function. So why not write this function in Dart and compile it in JavaScript and run it in the cloud? Um, some other uh, interesting reasons would be like code sharing, as it was mentioned many times before me, and um, co coherent development environment. So um, what it means, um, how to build a Dart application for Node.js. So it's basically very much how would you build it for, for for web, it's basically you need some Dart code, then you just add some more Dart code in the a, in a form of uh, JS bindings, and then you just compile it with Dart to JS and get a JavaScript file. And the only one missing bit here is you just need a special uh, header, node preamble. This is not my creation, by the way. This package has been around for a while. You just like prepend a special snippet in front of this JS file and it just works in node. Um, so, what's possible? Of course, I have two demos today. One is the Firebase Cloud Functions, and um, I just need to switch to my code editor here. So, this is an example HTTP Firebase Cloud Function. Can you see this code, by the way? Oops. Is it better? Okay. Um, so I have a date function here, which um, is a H it's HTTP function that accepts an incoming HTTP request and, and it replies with some response to it. And the way you register it um, is by using this built-in Firebase functions object. You set a key on it with your, with your function. Um, now what you can notice here is basically um, there's not much about node here. That's intentionally, that's my preference. I don't like having like require calls in, in my Dart code. It's more like an idiomatic Dart. And um, it actually works. I'm not gonna go through like the deploy process here because it takes a while, but I have this link here. This is the fun this same function deployed to, to the cloud. Uh, it might take a while first time to, to load, but this is, it. this is it. I'm refreshing it and just shows me the date. I mean, this is a intentionally, intentionally very basic example. You can do quite a bit more than that. You can store that data in real-time database in Firestore, <coughs> send push notifications, whatever fire, Firebase services you wanna use. Um, the other example is, is not about Firebase. It's just um, I wanted to try and explore what else can we do with this com combination with Dart, uh, Dart and Node.js. And here's an example script I have here. Um, this is a basic, very basic HTTP server, which is powered by Dart, Dart VM, right? We have a, we bind to a host and port, and we listen for requests, and we just return some, write some responses. And actually here, I am even calling this, um, I'm using the HTTP package to call this same date, fu date function in the cloud that I, that I just showed you, and it prints, prints out the, the result. So I can actually run this code. Um, and it shows me, this is Dart VM, the, 
no, no surprises here. But what if we can do this, something like this? We can just replace Dart with Node here. Obviously, we cannot do this here, but I can try and do it a little bit differently. I just want to replace Dart IO, Dart VM IO with Node Node IO. Uh, and here it would be the same. Like this. Now I just need to compile it to with pop. This is basically the same Dart to JS compilation. All right, so now I'm using Node to run the same application that was using the Dart IO before. And as you see, it works. It basically uses the same interfaces. <laughs> so we can really get a very darty feel when working with, with Node.js. That's what I want to show you. Thanks.